That's great. Thanks, everybody. That's great. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. That's very good indeed. You have saved the job of the desperate warm-up comedian. One more time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's very good, the warm-up comedian. He is. He? He's very funny, though. You know, we should have him be on the show one night as an actual comedian. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's too good. Yeah, he's too good for this show, man. He would, he he would embarrass us. Yeah. <laughs> I just think we've probably embarrassed ourselves before Yeah, now, we've done that we? quite yeah. a bit, yeah. yeah. It's a great day for America, everybody! A great day for the Mayor of Toronto, Rob Ford, who checked himself into rehab today. Yeah! Absolutely. Didn't see that coming. Good for you, Mr. Ford. Uh, good luck, and, uh, you know, get on with it. And... Uh, but I'm thinking, a sober mayor of Toronto. I'm getting out of late night just in time. <laughs> Do you know this is true? This is an, an unrelated Canadian news, or maybe related. It's still in, but it's in Canada anyway. There was a man called Donald Popadick who was <laughs> who was arrested for exposing his genitals, <laughs> which a I didn't know was a crime in Canada. It's unwise. It's unwise at certain times of the year. You could get terrible frostbite. Yes, but it's that's true. I didn't know it was legal. And, and that, but that's his real name, Donald Popadick. He'd have gotten away with it too if he hadn't whipped it out in front of Mary Calls a Cop. <laughs> See Mary what I did? Calls a cop. See what I did? Yeah, yeah. yeah I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The, the people in that that little. Well, I, I would call it a joke, but that's a little too generous. But in that little uh, scenario, scenario, that scenario. scenario yes, everybody sure. does what their name is. Yeah. So Jeff, you would be Jeff. Jeff, Jeff I'm into dudes. <laughs> and I and I would be well, I would be Craig uh, Craig uh, late night douche. Okay, there. <laughs> <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> then I'll be a douche twenty four seven. Yeah. It's a, a great day. It is a great day for the television industry. Uh, the Emmy Awards were announced today for the daytime shows. You know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> It was a record 24 nominations for the soap opera The Young and the Restless. Or was it their evil twin? <laughs> they probably don't know because their evil twin has amnesia. <laughs> kind of scared myself. That was really there. good, yeah. yeah. Frankly. It's uh, May the 1st, of course, May Day. It's a very special day. I can't remember why uh, May Day. I think it. You hide Easter eggs in your white pants and set them ahead an hour or something. It, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Something like that. This is a saying, April showers bring May flowers. But we've had a huge drought here in California, so no showers or flowers for us. <laughs> what I'm saying is it's very dry and windy here. It's very so dry and windy, the firefighters are already hosing down David Hasselhoff's chest hair. Yeah. <laughs> It's a yeah. tinderbox there. <laughs> it could go up at, woof, it could go up at any moment. Any moment. Uh, for centuries, people have gathered on May Day to throw flowers and dance around the Maypole. I actually did that this morning. I figured it would be good practice, because after December of this year, dancing around a pole is how Daddy's going to make his money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Look for me under the nom de plume George Popperdick. <laughs> Gentlemen, please welcome George Popperick, Black Veil. I think the only reason May Day exists is because the words rhyme, like May Day, June, Gloom, or uh, Dismember, September. <laughs> that's a thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's a movie. December, September, yeah, it's an old tradition in uh, Australia. <laughs> On the 1st of September, you cut off somebody's foot. Is that right? Yeah. Like, crikey, I was using that mine, eh? Why don't you cut off my foot? Oh, the dingo. Ah! It was a very, very good reenactment of that. Thanks very much Thank indeed. It was a scenario. A scenario. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. You know, in England, May Day is when the Morris dancers come out. <laughs> Do we have Morris dancers in America? No, because we have a space program. But here's... <laughs> Here, if you don't know what Morris dancers look like, here's some real Morris dancers. There you go. 
the horse made me laugh, yeah. man. <laughs> Morris dancing, very good, very, very good indeed. Uh, Morris dancing, of course, is for anyone who sees River Dance and says, I think that's a little butch. <laughs> Anyway, we're done. That's enough for That's me. That's it. We're done. Mm -hmm. I mean, till the next... Uh, till till, the yeah, until after the commercial yeah. break. We still have some more to do. we got a little time. Yeah. <laughs> well, the good thing is, you know, we're still making the best shows we can make. You know, we're still throwing our... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> anyway, uh, commercial break? Yeah, sure, yeah. Let's go. You're watching The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, now available for children's birthday parties and bar mitzvahs.